Well, today is happening in a straight way. A little wet, been raining, but uh, we have chicken butchering going on here today. People spread out all over the place. Uh, I myself personally, uh, there's so many people that's come nowadays, I don't even have to actually get my hands out here to do a pit chicken butchering. I can actually catch up on all the paperwork and everything else uh, that I need to do as far as running the community and ministry. Looks like Clarksville is here. Uh, Brother and Allen are here. And let me turn it around for y'all. Quite a few of the saints, they come to give a hand. So, um, this is what's going on in straightway today. And this is the thing I keep harping about over and over and over again. You know, we, um, we don't go out there and buy their world's chicken for us to eat here at the community. We just simply don't do it. Uh, we raise our own chicken and we know what's in it. And there's no chemicals, no pesticides, no herbicides, uh, no snake venom, no monkey pulse, no none of that stuff. Oh, you know, you know what that is, don't you? Sister Vicky told me it's an unmade egg. Yes, that's it. got its shell. It's an unmade egg. <laughs> yep, it hadn't finished um, running its course yet. That is exactly what an egg looks like. What are you going to do with it? Well, we're going to put it in the <laughs> Okay. Judith had to come and show me. <laughs> of course, that, that, that is coming from... Our uh, layers that is being butchered. We have meat birds that is being butchered. There's a brother that will to help out doing the chicken. You butcher any chickens yet? No, sir. You ain't graduated to that yet, huh? No, sir. Just washing. Huh? Just washing. <laughs> You just gotta have a special stomach for that, huh? Yes. yes it looks good though, don't it? It looks good. Chicken. It's going a lot better than last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, so they're getting some layers as well as our meat birds over here. What does chicken look like? Huh? Oh, it's, it's really clean. No, it was only seven and a half weeks, so it's a tad bit smaller than what we're used to because we go eight weeks a lot of times. Still but bigger, huh? Really good. The skin was really good. Still bigger? Sir? Oh, yeah, they're still a good size. The breast still big. Look at them. That's huge. Because the brothers, what they're doing is helping getting all of them rest of the hair off of the chicken skins right here. Nico, check it out, man. You are from New York to a chicken in your hand. <laughs> hey, how's that? How's that little girl doing? She's doing very good. You got two girls now, huh? Yeah, two baby girls. <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this is what we call the community of Straightway. Look at here, Rachel just jumped right on in. Look at here, Daddy, Rachel just jumped right on in from New York. She encouraging you, huh? <laughs> From New York to Chicken Butcher. How's your experience? Really? With a smile on your face. <laughs> How's she doing, Carol? She's doing really good. She started off better. Oh, she's a lot better. A lot better, huh? She was determined to learn. Slow, Pastor. Slow. Which one did you butcher? I'm butchering the meat birds right now. The meat? Meat birds. Hey, look at all the meats coming out here.
Yeah. What's going on over here at this one? Just a, a meat bird, and she's doing a layer. That's why they look so different. Yeah, you can tell the difference. That's the meat bird that we raised for our meat, and that's those are the ones that are layer birds. That's the one that they're getting the eggs out of. And, and the reason why we butcher them because they're two years old now, yes. and we don't need them uh, anymore. We already had some new birds that's already in the thing to replace them. And of course, this is the wash station. So you have the butchering station over here. You have the wash station over here. And then you have the um, the quartering station over here. And over here, of course, is the bags of chicken. It's gonna be put into the freezer. And this is that community stuff that everybody in the world uh, seems to hate. You know what? While I'm on this chicken butcher video right here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about something right now. Um, I want y'all to listen to me real close too, okay? You, you saw what happened to this country. Um, amidst this epidemic, pandemic, or whatever you want to call it. And you saw how that uh, toilet paper became uh, a hot commodity. Well, don't get caught. My suggestion to you is, is every time you go to the store, you buy a canned good. Not only do you buy a canned good, but right now, you need to be stocking up on witch hazel, alcohol, um, swabs, um, Every time you go to the store, you buy toilet paper, TP, you always get a, a thing of TP. I don't know if that's a limitation or not uh, when you go there, but you don't ever want to get caught. You want to also make sure that you have storage facilities to be able to hold all this stuff uh, that you're getting. You want to make sure you have plenty of paper towels. Um, winter is almost here. Uh, I don't trust what may be touted as what could possibly happen but uh you want to make sure that you don't get caught so go out there and buy bottles of alcohol buy diaper wipes um it's already a food store make sure you get witch hazel uh, stock up on some uh, cough syrup cold medicine you know over the counter stuff like that uh, and take care of yourself this winter, okay? Uh, and stay away from people as much as you can. So um, I guess I just went ahead and mixed that into this video. That's what I wanted to speak about here today uh, with you. I want you to see what's going on here at Straightway in the country community. Somebody said, well, it's easy for you to say, Pastor. Well, I'm gonna say it again. Um, I started with zero, started with nothing. A vision and a dream and I'm still working on it. Um, so I just hope that you take my advice. If you listen to me, you'll fare well. If you don't, uh, you're probably gonna be hurt. Yeah, a wonderful day. Let me get back out here to the country. Get out of the country right there. Mm -hmm. I always have, over, right there's one of my targets. You see two more white targets over there in the field, right there. Um, if you look over there, you'll see two more white targets in the field. One of them is at 100 meter, the other one is at 200 meter. And plus I also have a hostage target over there or a target over there, a dummy that I practice with as well. Uh, that's because we always, always have to make sure we're ready. So I can actually step outside of my front door, take a few steps, and there's my pistol target right there. Sure is nice to have. There are some of our cows over there. And um, we've done butcher two of them already. So we probably 
got about 1,200 pounds of meat, maybe 1,300, maybe more, maybe 1,500 pounds of meat. Deer season is coming up. We're going to be doing well. How about you? Tell me what y'all doing to prepare.